The only important thing during your rental rehab is return on investment. It has to look good too. If this is your first time at the channel, maybe you haven't noticed Mia too much, but she is a real gem. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe on the videos, help us out for that YouTube algorithm, and let's get to it. Together we've gone through three rental rehabs. It's been a lot of fun for us, and it's caused me to ask Mia probably a hundred times where a certain tool is, but that's just part of all the antics that we have. And we're just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about this rehab, are currently in our three family house hack. If you're unfamiliar with that, a link in the description below what house hacking is, how you can utilize it to save a lot of money and get yourself started in real estate investing. In this video, we're going to take you through everything from the Zillow photos of the listing to our first inspection walkthrough, and then we'll show you our strategy and our final after photos. But first, the most important thing that you need to do before rehabbing your property is to slap that like button. Don't you mean smash the like button? No. Oh. After we've run the numbers to determine if this is a good rental property investment for us, we go ahead and look at the Zillow photos. When we're looking at the photos, we want to see what value add we can add to the property. We personally don't love buying a place that's already done up. We'd rather buy something that we can fix up ourselves and make a lot nicer. And when thinking about return on investment, especially on a rental property, the biggest things that will give you a really good return on your investment are updating your kitchen, painting the place, a nice bathroom update, and new flooring. And we had three of four of those options for this property alone, so we did some really great stuff and learned some fun renovations along the way. We're gonna take you room by room through this apartment and show you all of our different strategies for our renovation. First, we wanted to start with the kitchen because there was the most opportunity for rehab. The first thing that we noticed from the pictures of the kitchen was that there was a really good backbone. The cabinets were in really good shape and they just needed a good paint job and some new hardware. The kitchen already had, as Mia said, good bones. It had some nice granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and the floor was actually in pretty good shape. So there were just a few things that we wanted to do that would take the kitchen from a place where you would microwave that frozen burrito to a place that you'd want to cook every night. The other thing that we noticed about the kitchen was there wasn't a lot of countertop space or storage. So our big idea was that we wanted to add a kitchen island in the center of the kitchen to add not only countertop space, but more storage for pots and pans. The final touch that we put onto this kitchen is we used all black finishes. We have oil rubbed bronze for our kitchen hardware and we put in a brand new black faucet. This really pulled the room together because we have an existing black countertop. Also when we moved in here, it wasn't very clean. The old owner who lived in the apartment was a bit of a smoker, he had a cat, and he was not the cleanest individual. So just doing a few of these things really got rid of some of those smells. And one of the most disgusting parts of the kitchen were the appliances. I don't even understand how they got to the color that they were, or some of the stains that were existing. And I remember Mia just saying, Avery, stop being so damn cheap, just buy some new stuff. And of course, I was being such a hardo and saying, no, I'm going to clean it. So I spent, what was it, three or four hours just cleaning the front of the stove, making it have its new shine, as well as taking the fridge outside, all of the components, really getting in there. It was absolutely disgusting, but, you know, I wore some gloves and it was worth saving the six, seven hundred dollars for a new fridge. There were a couple electrical updates that we made. The first being that we took out the flickering boob light and put in a new modern fixture. Lastly, because the area of behind the sink and the stove was not very large, we thought it would be a great opportunity for a backsplash. Now, I had done a backsplash before and used stickers, but I wanted to do something a bit better. And subway tiles are so inexpensive. I bought three boxes, ended up only using one and a half, as well as some grout and a little bit of tile adhesive, and borrowed a friend's tile cutter, and we were into this backsplash for only 60 to 80 dollars and it just really made our kitchen pop and it is something that I have a really hard time not staring at other than Mia of course. Don't say that! <laughs> Next we have the bathroom. This photo is absolutely disgusting. This is almost the worst bathroom I've ever seen. The walls are all black, the tile is black, you can't even see in here and it is really really covered in disgusting stuff. 
<laughs> so our plan for the bathroom was completely paint it a lighter color and rip out the vanity, put in a new one, and put up a nice shower curtain. We went to TJ Maxx and got some nice accessories, and we also bought some white shelves to add a little bit more space for storage. And we also put up a brand new light fixture. We wanted to take this 80s light fixture that had five bulbs, but only two of them were working, and put in just a nice, simple light fixture. That's something that'll add a really big touch, just doing those small little things, and it made the bathroom look a whole lot better. A few months later, we also decided to retile the bathroom because the black tiles were breaking and needed new grout, and we wanted modern tiles anyway. The other thing that was happening in the bathroom, and the reason we waited to tile it, was because we noticed that after we had taken a shower in the basement, there was some water seeping down. So some of the waterproofing methods that they had used to originally do the bathroom were no longer working. Now moving on to the living room and the bedroom, these were pretty straightforward. The biggest change we made here is we painted the walls. We chose Passive Gray by Sherwin-Williams, which is a gray color with a couple of blue undertones. The reason that we chose Passive Gray as the color for our apartment is that this is a rental. We wanted a color that was going to mesh with anyone's taste in furniture, and we didn't want a bold color that was going to turn away tenants. There are a lot of cool accent walls or wallpaper or really fun things that are, people are doing these days in making nicer and prettier spaces but this is a little bit more difficult to do when renovating a rental. You wanna make sure that you can get a large variety of tenants, and if you're just doing tastes that you find exciting, less people are gonna be interested in your rental. We also repainted the trim in here because even though the trim was already white, it was really dirty, and a fresh coat of white paint made the room completely different. The last thing that we painted, and something that we've slept on before because we didn't really think it made a big difference, was the inside of the closets. Now, inside of the closets are not something that everyone is looking at very often, but if it's more cohesive with the rest of the apartment, people are gonna take notice and they're not gonna think it's a disgusting place to store any of their items or any of their clothes, and it's gonna make it feel like a much better place to live. The hallway closet also didn't have a floor, so we plan to put some really simple carpet squares down. Now that we had a good strategy for the interior of the apartment, the next thing we thought about was the exterior. As you can see in this photo, the deck has never been stained before and was closer to a mossy, moldy color than actual wood. So our plan was to do a really simple stain in the back as well as the front porch. She says our plan, but I was the one who spent all the time cleaning up the deck. <laughs> I painted it! <laughs> the last thing that we planned to do was paint the front door. You can see here that the door is just a bland white color, so we wanted to change it from something that was simple and not very inviting to a nice bright pop of color. A coat of paint also cleans up any stains that are on the door. All right, and now the part that you guys have actually been waiting for, the after photos for our apartment rehab. And before you can unlock access to those photos, make sure you smash that like button. Here is the after photo of our kitchen. As you can see, it really came together, and my favorite part of the kitchen is the backsplash. As we had mentioned, we were planning to build an island in the middle of the kitchen that we could utilize for seating as well as more storage. It turns out that there wasn't enough space between the oven and behind the island that we were planning to build to create a large enough island to have that storage space as well as an island for seating. So instead what we did is we utilized the back wall, moved an electrical outlet that was by the floor up to a countertop height so we could plug in some appliances and put in some base shelving as well as some upper cabinet storage and added some more countertop space so we had more area for prep for coffee in the morning, and for our toaster oven. Instead of the island, we purchased a really small kitchen table that we were able to put by the window. The last thing that happened with the kitchen, and something that we weren't planning on doing, but because our oven broke, even though I spent four hours cleaning it, we had to get a new one. And now I'm not too upset about this, and I don't think Mia's either, because we cook basically all of our meals, hashtag fire, and we want to make sure that we had a good place to cook, the final thing that we still need to fix is the dishwasher. It still doesn't work, but we wash most of our dishes by hand, so we've been putting this off. I think she means I wash the dishes. That's not true. <laughs> and here is the photo of our bathroom. As you can see, we stuck pretty much to our plan, and it looks a whole lot brighter in here. You can see that the new tiles, the new vanity, and new toilet, which handles really well, 
make a nice, cohesive, white and bright bathroom that we love to use every day. Sometimes twice a day. <laughs> As for the rooms, we also stuck pretty much to plan, except for we added some black hardware for the doors, which really matched the kitchen hardware. In the living room, as well as in the bedroom, we replaced the blinds to go for something that would add a lot more natural light. And something else that was a little bit weird with this property was that there were no window screens. And obviously when you open the window and there are no screens, you are subject to a bunch of flies and dust coming in. So something that I had to learn how to do was build a window screen and put those in. So we now have them in all the windows and when it's the appropriate weather outside, it's really nice having all of them open for natural light and a good breeze. We ended up going with the carpet squares for the closet. It's a nice beige color and even though it's something really simple, it really makes the house seem a lot more clean. And even though carpet squares are a lot more expensive than carpet, it was such a small area that this made sense. And those peel and stick carpet squares are just super easy to put into place. So we thought it was a great idea. Last but not least, we went through with our plans on the exterior. A really nice surprise that we found was that we actually have a view of Boston from our property. During the inspection, it was a really foggy day, but I had taken this photo and that is actually Boston in the background. After we had finished staining the deck, we went through with painting the exterior doors. And like we said, we wanted to choose a nice pop of color, so we went with Chinese Porcelain by PPG, and it really looks awesome. That's it, those are the final before and afters. The project took us about four to five weeks to complete, which was a little bit under time of what we thought it would take. Again, we're not professionals, and we are doing this while having full-time jobs. It's just something fun and a bit of a hobby for us, and it was really exciting to take the apartment from what it was to what it is now, and have been living here for a number of months. And we'll do a few more videos on the two other apartment rehabs that we've done, one being at the duplex and another one being in this very building that had a very similar outlook. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, as well as share this video with your friends and look out for our future rental rehab videos. See you guys next time.